Now, you've both been there. You've both seen the production. Before they even drop the puck, they have a, a big kind of stage production. They come out, and it's almost kind of like a little play. A lot of hockey purists don't like it. They just say, drop the puck, let's play. But what do you think of the production before the game, I guess, Rob? Oh, it's so everything they do. is It's just so much fun to be at that rink. Like, how many times do you go to a hockey game, you know, here included, here, here especially, and it's just, you know, it's a boring game. And if the game isn't very good, then it's just like, wow, that wasn't that wasn't a very good evening. You go to Vegas, and from the time you're, you know, 300 yards away from the building, the, the atmosphere is started. There's concerts, there's games, there's little barbecues, there's people, you know, wandering around in, in their sweaters. <clears throat> you get inside, and they just, they make an effort to make it a, a complete night of entertainment on all fronts. And and like I've said before, the the the... You know the theory that Canadian teams don't want to do that because we're highbrow and and it's you know we don't need that to sell our hockey. That's BS. It's just it's laziness. The, every fan who's watching that game in Vegas says, "Man, I wish we would have that here because it's a great time." Some of it was hokey. Michael Buffer. Yeah. Michael Buffer was kind of cool, but he didn't need to introduce every player. Just yeah. do two teams and then get off there. If, you know when the other guys are having to warm up because your your pregame ceremony is uh, a little over the edge. But hey, it's 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 something they tried it and you know ninety percent of what they do is. They knock it out of the park. They're better at everything on the ice and off the ice than every other team in the NHL right now, and they've been in this league for six months. I like the Michael Buffer thing. I thought yeah. that was pretty cool. Yeah. And, Jim, you've, obviously you've seen a lot of pregame productions. A, in your day. Uh, when you've seen the sword fight more than once, it's <laughs> a little, I have to, I have to yeah. admit, it's a little much. Yeah. But I enjoyed Michael Trakos' piece today you know, where he interviewed the you – know, the, Golden Knights night and the and you know how he does it and stuff like that. It was an interesting thing. Uh, I do it. You know, there's no kiss cams. There's no contest. You know, guessing game contests where you get pizza for a month and yeah. Boston yeah. pizza. There's not. You know, there's none of those things that seem to be staples in in uh, in uh, Edmonton. Canadian. <laughs> you know, the best part about the Edmonton part is that Donnie Metz always does a pretty good job. You know, in in his with the players and stuff like that. You know, heading into the season, he's got them. You know, in good locations and stuff yeah. like that. It's interesting, but the once the game starts, it's you know they just crank the music up as loud as you can, and I don't see a lot of Canadian fans sitting watching the warm up, whereas every you know in Vegas they're all there watching a warm up, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> which is, it seems ridiculous. But um, I know the media people aren't watching the warm up, but the fans are. So I I, I enjoy it, and I I hope that Canadian teams would do it. But you know what? They did hire somebody to be their head of direct director of entertainment. Yeah. Because it's Vegas. I don't know how many Canadian teams got one of those guys. No. Those people where they said, you know what, that before the game is important too, and 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 during the game is important too. So I don't know. That's just another layer of what a hockey team well, should do. But it is Oilers Entertainment Group yeah. right. running the uh, the Oilers now. Yeah. So I see no reason why that arm can't uh, can't. Uh, Used. Well, that director of entertainment position in Edmonton would be the guy who's in charge of commercials. Like in, in, in Edmonton, it's how can we make money off the scoreboard and, and the TV breaks. In Vegas, it's how can we entertain the fans. And yeah. there's a staggering difference. You're sitting there on a commercial break and you're watching an ad for a food delivery service company and you're like, literally, I paid 200 bucks to get in this building and I got to watch a 30 second commercial during a timeout. Like, that's, I don't think it's right. Uh, I don't know what the fans feel about it, but there's a difference between Vegas and Canadian cities is is huge. 